fundamental of a good jump is a good plie. If you have a good plie, if you have a good strong foundation in your plie, you get a good jump, okay? I'm gonna break it down and make it as simple as possible so that you can understand. I'm just gonna show you what you need to do. So you need to start in your first turned out position. Try and be as relaxed and as calm as possible. The more calmer you are, the more efficient you'll be with your body. You can keep your hands either in a zero position or you can bring your hands back to second position if you feel comfortable, all right? We'll start here. We'll start in our zero position. Or if you want, you can even go hands on the waist, right? It's up to you. So place hands here, zero position. We're gonna start by slowly taking our demi plie position. Now when you're in your demi plie position, try and really support yourself with your legs. So which means really understanding, taking the weight into our feet. Just sense it there for a bit, try and understand the bounce. So bounce a few times just to understand where the weight in your legs are. Make sure you're not favoring either leg, right? Both legs need to have equal weight and slowly come up. Now if you can find that weight, if you can find that hinge, you'll be able to push off. Now, one go, I don't want you to take off the flow, I just want you to straighten your legs. But before you straighten your legs, I just want you to push and close it. Now a few things to remember, when you're pushing and closing quickly, you want to be able to find a nice stretch in the legs and not snap the legs back in. Let's progress it. So we're going to go from here, push into your legs and think of rising up as quickly as possible. So we're gonna start from our plie and try and shoot up into our releve as quickly as possible. Let's try that. So you go plie, take a nice comfortable plie and shoot up. Try and hold that there for a bit and bring it down. Okay, so you've got step one, step two. Let's try step three, which is including all of these things together. Now, basically when you think of jump, right? We don't wanna try and shoot off or jump with our chest. We basically wanna think of a concept known as hopping. So like we all are used to hopping. We all understand the concept of hopping. So I wanna understand that with my body and just do that a couple of times just to see how my body feels. So right now in your homes, try and hop on your body. Go, hop, 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 that's it. Now, if you understand this concept, try and fuse it with the plie and the snap of the leg. So we're going plie and use that snap to hop as much as you can. Let's try that. Six, seven, eight, find your plie and snap, hop, land. When you land, find your plie again, reset, right? If you can get that, you can make your jumps more consistent, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate once on count, so we're gonna go Land, start, you're gonna start one, jump two, land three, jump four, five, six, seven, eight, land, and close. Obviously, we're not gonna do it that slowly because it's difficult to jump slowly. We're gonna try it a little faster, all right? On count, so you're going one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, land. Make sure you land in your finish, right? So when you finish the last time, make sure you don't bounce back and really get into your plie as much as possible. Okay, yes, got that. Let's try it on counts. Take your position, we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, land. And finish. Great, if you have that now, let's try this set on music. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's try going into variation two now. So when we go into variation two, we have a lot of different positions that we need to jump into. But we're still gonna try and achieve a basic transition with our jumps, right? So I'm gonna take the feet position that I've learned in my plies and my other sequences to add them into this jump combination. So we're gonna go first position, right? Just understand the basic positions that we're working in. First position, change to our second, change to our fifth, okay? And then we repeat, come back to first, come back to second and fifth, okay? So the sequence is gonna be first, 
second, fifth, first, second, fifth, and finish. Just to demonstrate once for you, so we're gonna go and jump, 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 change, jump, 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 change, jump, 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 stay. Got that? So let's try it on counts this time. We go again, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, change, one, two, three, four, change, one, two, three, four, stretch. Let's try that one time on music. So going right, going left, to end. Breathe, just focus on the jump, focus on your body. Let's go, five, six, seven, and. Change. Change. Stretch 